Hi, I'm Gary. It's Halloween night and you've been invited to a party. Why not bring a corn squash? It's easy to bake and a good and satisfying side dish to any party. This is the acorn squash. It's delicious. Opening up a carving pumpkin. These were the tools we'll be using. Happy Halloween! Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. To make it easier to carve your pumpkin, draw a line. I've just made a circle here with a felt marker just to make it easier for me, for me to follow. It doesn't have to be perfectly circled. It will make it easier to get to the inside of the pumpkin. Be careful not to cut your fingers on this thing. Kind of pay attention where your knife is and where the blade's at. I'm cutting at a diagonal so the top can sit right on top without falling out. I'm going to take this longer knife now, get all the way through. It goes around semi-circle. Okay, and there's the top. I cut off the top. And I'm just going to drop it into my colander that's sitting in the sink. Next, I'm going to get a big spoon. I love covering pumpkins, so I'm using a big spoon, as you can see. You almost can grab it with your hands. This pumpkin is supposed to be more fibrous, more water in it than a standard pie pumpkin. See all this stuff here. After you remove the pulp, wash your pumpkin. I'm drying it off right now. And I just use, just like with my regular vegetables, I use water and soap, and then I rinse it off real good. I'm gonna use the knives next to cut off the face of the pumpkin. Okay, so you remember next time where this just make a little mark here, like that. And that way you'll be, always be able to find out where it goes. All right. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna carve the face of the pumpkin. So I drew a kind of basic figure. Here's the eyes. I made a triangle. And here I cut off a, like a tree, but it's gonna be the mouth. Sure, it's going to be much more difficult to be able to cut all those teeth out, so it's going to be nice. So for the eyes, I use a really long serrated knife with a thin point. And as you can see on this eye, I just basically cut a diagonal. So now you see the eye is coming out. On this one eye, I'm just finishing up the job. Oh, it's already cut out. So now you have the eyes. What we're going to do next is we're going to try to cut the mouth. Just have to be careful where your fingers are compared to where the knife is at. Follow your lines and watch your fingers where they're at. They sell tools at the store for this. You know, give you all kinds of different options. I always thought it was just easier to just use the tools in the house to use for fish. You want that length so that you can go penetrate the skin of the, of the um, pumpkin. All right, let's see if it's, if it's gonna willingly come out. No, nope, looks like there's more to do. I'm gonna flip it upside down, make it easier for me. That one's done. Almost out, I can see it coming, protruding out. I'm missing the bottom pieces of the teeth. Okay, here's one piece. So here's a jack-o'-lantern. It's got two eyes and some nasty looking teeth. Next, we're gonna put a candle in it and see if it works. Here's the nose of the pumpkin. Could have no nose, could have a nose. All right, so now the candle works really well. And I took a shortcut. I didn't just use ordinary candles. We've got some battery operated lights. These are orange. And it gives you that really nice glow that you can use and it's safe. It's not plugged into an electrical power supply, battery operated, and it's safe for the kids. Happy Halloween. All right, we're lighting the, the candle that goes inside the pumpkin. And you can see a nice glow, but I don't think we're gonna get away with being able to, oh yeah, this. It, it gets enough air from the eyes and the mouth and the nose to look really scary and creepy. Okay, today we're gonna cook an acorn squash. I'm gonna use a meat tenderizer and a serrated long knife. Perfectly down the middle. Separated. Okay, you're gonna use a large spoon. You have your, a pan that's nearby. You're just gonna scrape it into your pan. So you're gonna physically scrape it down. See how it's coming out? The fibers are coming right off with the spoon. The nice thing about a spoon, it's safer than using a knife. You don't have to worry about the spoon slipping and cutting you. Okay, so that one's done. 
The other one, I'll cut it exactly very even. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to scrape it out using a spoon. And all these fibers over here. Once that, all the fibers have been removed, you're going to oil it with good quality oil. You don't have to use oil. This is just the way I do it. This one will take a lot longer than this little paw print over here. So you take Bertilini extra virgin olive oil. That's what it looks like. And you pour a little bit inside. Maybe a spoonful. And you can use a fancy brush like this, a silicone brush to get it all over the edge. Extra oil. Put it on the other one. And then you're going to use I like spike. You're going to use spike. It's kind of green. It's all vegetables and salt. And we're going to use Laurie's garlic salt. Now we're preparing the acorn squash to go into the oven. So I've oiled it. I've seasoned it. I'm placing this one upside down so it can steam this one up on the top. It's going to go in the oven 350 degrees for a little bit less than an hour. I'll be checking in 30 minutes into the cooking time. Make sure that it's not overcooked. Okay, so the acorn squash is just finished. I'm going to use a fork and this is perfect all the way cooked all the way through. So this is ready to go. And of course it tastes delicious. Very nice. When they're this big, sometimes you just need to cut them. Now the acorn squash can be easily packed for storage in your refrigerator. Storing the acorn squash in the plastic bag makes it easier to find a place in the fridge for it. The acorn squash is in the fridge cooling. It's Halloween night and you're home alone. Why not make acorn squash seeds? Easy to bake, a good source of fiber, and a wonderful snack. Happy Halloween! Okay, so we put away the mess of the, of the acorn squash. Now these seeds are much smaller. You need a trash bag and then you take the pulp away from the seeds. And this, these seeds, once they're all separated, when they start looking kind of crispy, then you pull them out. Now these little seeds right over here, that's really not worth anything. There's nothing in these little seeds. You only take the really big seed. I get to enjoy the squash, but as a special treat, instead of going down to my local grocery market or going to Sprouts, I get these seeds. I don't have to buy the seeds and pay that price. A little bit of trouble to get them all separated. Don't get as many seeds as you, like you do from a pumpkin, but considering that this is an acorn squash and it's like a fourth of the size of a pumpkin, you're not doing too bad. Okay, so after you strain your seeds, then you transfer them to a dish. You see the seeds are much smaller than, for example, this pumpkin seed over here and then you're going to season it with spike and you're going to basically bake this on and it's going to go be a lot faster than some of the other seeds put some oregano so we get a little bit of italian seasoning on these seeds and we're going to use laurie's salt garlic salt give it a little bit of crunch this will be going in the oven now these seeds are ready to eat they're all completely dry so these are cool and now what i do is i put them in a plastic bag and that way they're ready for my treat. You can put them in a plastic container, store these in the fridge. There's no natural preservatives on these except for the salt. And acorn squash doesn't give you very many seeds. Maybe if you were to cook several at one time. But you can see I have maybe an eighth of this little bag, this plastic bag. And so as you can see, there's about quarter of the bag here for this acorn squash, this much bigger acorn squash that I cooked. Okay, so this acorn squash is going to go in the fridge and it's going to be a nice little treat for tonight. Hi, I'm Gary. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the circle on the right side of your screen to subscribe for more organic cooking or click the rectangular box upper right side of your screen to see my expanded playlist. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Thank you for watching.